Jenna and Evan, in the time that you've been together, pause and reflect on the moments that made up the chapters before today. The first date, conversations together, Colorado State Park, meeting family, vacation, Bahamas, moving in together, training Knox, remodeling the house, starting new jobs. And then at some point, that moment, the moment when you knew this is the person who makes you feel complete. The moment you realize you can't imagine spending another day of your life without the other. You are here today because you've decided that you want to be together for the rest of the chapters of your story. You've chosen to be with someone who enhances you, who makes you think, makes you smile, sometimes makes you angry, but always makes every day brighter. Your mother and I love you so much. We are so proud of you. You have accomplished some unbelievable things in your short life. You are our firecracker. You are the thing that brings us joy and happiness. You do too, Julie, so I don't think. <laughs> Sunday, April 21st, 1991. Red letter day, the birth of Evan. As he grew, his talent and personality formed. There's the reckless abandon, catching a pass and knocking himself out cold in our backyard. Ingenuity, breaking a newly planted tree and duct taping it together so I wouldn't notice. Yeah, gardening, filling our closet in the basement with a bunch of gnomes. A bunch of you over there were part of that. And most importantly, realizing when you found the special someone who makes you a better person and knowing you both are better people together. So I couldn't be happier with the choices you made. I'm thrilled at the man you've become and could not be more proud of you today. I both know how indecisive I can be at times. But if there is one decision in my life that I know is the right one, it's to spend the rest of my life with you. I fell in love with your qualities, your quirks, and your outlook on life. Today, I marry my best friend. <laughs> The one I have laughed with and cried with, the one I have chosen to support, encourage, and give myself to for all of our days ahead. Wherever this life takes us, I'll always keep you by my side so that we can experience this wonderful journey of life together. Today, I marry the one I love. Evan, when people asked me what I look forward to the most about today, I always answered with something like dancing or eating cake. The truth is, today is really just a formality for the rest of the world to get on the same page as us. We've been committed to each other for a fair amount of time, depending on who you ask. Um, but today we make it official. It's you and me, first and foremost, always. I can't promise you perfection, but I do promise to fiercely love you with my whole heart and soul, to put you and our family first. True love doesn't happen just by chance. It's earned. It's earned when at first you meet somebody, you have that attraction, and you go, yeah. <laughs> but then you start sharing your life together, and you start really respecting each other, then you have some arguments, and you learn how to argue fairly with resolution and compromise. 
which really bonds the relationship even more. So after that, then you start feeling that commitment to the person. And that commitment even grows more with what is really important and bonds you for life is the trust. Trust is earned by knowing that that person has your back, is gonna catch you when you fall, is gonna be your biggest cheerleader when you're trying for something hard, and is gonna be right there celebrating vigorously when you achieve. And you both have that in each other, and I've seen that. And that is special and rare. Jenna and Evan, through your vows and the giving of rings, in the presence of God and witnessed by family and friends, by the authority vested in me, it is my honor to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. important part of the language that all the world spoke, the language that everyone on earth was capable of understanding in their heart. It was love. Something older than humanity, more ancient than the desert. What the boy felt at that moment was that he was in the presence of the only woman in his life, and that with no need for words, she recognized the same thing. Because when you know the language, it's easy to understand that someone in the world awaits you, whether it's in the middle of the desert or in some great city. And when two such people encounter each other, the past and the future become unimportant. There is only that moment and the incredible certainty that everything under the sun has been written by one hand only. It is the hand that evokes love and creates a twin soul for every person in the world. Without such love, one's dreams would have no meaning.